Hello, it's Ruby, and today I am going to be filming another video for my anti-bullying series. For the series, I am using the tag hashtag CanBeKind. I uploaded an assumptions about me video last anti-bullying week, and I've got loads of requests to do another one, but I wanted to wait until this year because I said this in last year's video, but I do think that these assumptions about me videos really do tie a lot in with issues with bullying because bullying can only arise when we allow ourselves to make assumptions about people. My moral beliefs are very much in line with the idea that someone always has explanation for something. There's always an explanation for why someone acts the way they do or thinks the way they do and even if it's not always justifying, it's explanatory. And when we make assumptions about people, we don't recognise those explanations I don't think you just make assumptions and then base your perceptions of people on those assumptions which is really problematic I think that's why I'm deciding to keep my assumptions videos in line with anti-bullying because I think assumptions are really dangerous things you dislike drinking uh yes so I don't drink as a rule of thumb however I do enjoy drinking prosecco on a special occasion I'll drink a tiny bit if if it's a toast, you prefer socialising one-on-one. -on -one. This depends, so I either like socialising one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two or socialising in a really big group. So for example, when we go camping, I really love having loads of people there. You believe that people who don't succeed in school aren't intelligent. This couldn't be further from the truth. So I think the issue with school is it tests a very particular type of intelligence and it relies a lot on circumstance. So for example, the mental and physical health of someone, the socioeconomic position. There are so many factors that feed into school performance and people who don't do well in school can could still be very academically intelligent. It just might not have been channeled in the right way because of circumstance. But then aside from that, I am a huge believer in that there are multiple types of intelligence and I have friends who are so, so, so intelligent, but just not in an academic sense. You've always struggled with basing your self-worth off grades. Not always, but yes, I have struggled with this. You prefer school to university. They're different, but yes, I would say that I enjoyed school more than university. You never have days where you spend basically the whole day on your phone. Um, I have days where I spend more time on my phone than... I usually would. I spend time on my phone and I think, where I spent way too much time on my phone today, but I can't think of a time where I've spent a whole day or what feels like a whole day on my phone. You would love to be Hermione. I would love to go to Hogwarts. You sometimes don't feel like revising. Of course, everyone, everyone feels like this sometimes. You'd never get a tattoo. Um, personally, no, I don't like the idea of branding myself with something which is then going to be there forever, that kind of scares me. You don't go out clubbing or drinking, etc. No, I haven't been out, I've never been clubbing, ever. You feel out of place with your friends slash study tube friends. No, but also yes. I feel very comfortable with my friends, I feel very comfortable, especially with my study tube friends. Sometimes I suppose I really value the importance of being yourself and being yourself even if that means being different and even if that means, you know, standing out a little bit for better or for worse. I feel like the main way that I'd feel out of place is because of how I dress. That makes me kind of stick out more in photographs because I'm wearing something which is very, very different, you know, not like typically fashionable. I don't have a problem with that because I feel like fashion should be based in what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel your best, and, and the clothes that I wear make me feel my best. You miss Jade, I really miss Jade. You support LGBTQ+, plus, of course. You don't like musical theatre, I, love watching musicals. Musicals are my favourite things to watch. I love singing along to musical soundtracks in my bedroom. It's the main thing I listen to other than classical music. I was in a few musicals at school. I wasn't very good at singing or dancing, but I really liked the acting side. You were very naughty in school when you were younger. I was very naughty when I was a kid, but school really levelled me out. So when I was in nursery, I was so, so naughty. Um, but as I kind of settled into school, I became a bit of a goody two shoes. You've read all the Jane Austen books. No, okay, this is controversial. I don't actually like Jane Austen. Very, very bad to say this, especially because I'm an English student, but don't jump on me. I have tried Jane Austen. It's not that I haven't tried her. I want to like her work, but I personally just can't get on with the writing style. I feel like it's a bit too plot driven and there's not enough emotion. With the Brontes, emotion seems to underpin everything, but I don't get that when I read Austen, and I'm just really not a fan. Um, I've read Pride and Prejudice three times trying to like it. I read Mansfield Park. I've read... 
I've read something else as well by her. I haven't read Emma. That's the one that I would like to read because I think I might like that. You buy a lot of stationery. I used to buy a lot more stationery than I have recently. Um, I feel like I've got all the stationery I need. Some people don't understand your clothing style. This is very, very true. I sometimes get quite nasty comments about my clothing style. Like, I dress like a grandma, I dress like an old person, and I don't have an issue with that because the style that I'm going for is, you know, 1940s, so really, I'd much rather get comments saying that I'm dressing like their great-grandmother than their grandma. You don't seem to do many social things at university and study so much. I do study quite a lot, I suppose, but I feel like I do socialise a fair bit. I'll see friends at least, like, three, four times a week at university, um, for various, you know, like dinners or going to the cinema. I would say for me personally, I think I'm socialising enough, but um, then again, I'm introverted, so maybe it's not very much if you're an extrovert and you're looking at that. For me, it's a really great balance and um, I'm really happy with the balance I have now. I didn't have that balance when I was at school so much. I would only really see people on the holidays because I wanted to focus entirely on like school, leading initiatives at school, studying whilst term time was going on um, and then I could concentrate on, on socialising on at the holidays. You're really family orientated. I really like spending time with my family. I assume that when you were getting bullied you tried to hide your love for studying. No, actually. I really embraced it and I think that was this like make or break decision because I had the choice between continuing to be myself or going off in the complete other direction and I'm so glad that I stuck with, you know, recognising the things that I valued most. I think it's one of the best decisions I ever made and it was actually, it was a really, really hard decision because it kind of perpetuated people being mean but eventually people, I think, grew to respect the fact that I was not giving in to the criticism that they were giving. You have an introverted personality. Yes, I am. I say I'm an introvert. I do enjoy spending time with people. I sometimes do recharge depending on which people I'm with, but by and all, I would say that I am an introvert. You're disapproving of people who don't try hard at school. I think disapproving is the wrong word. The issue is, again, the whole, the whole, you know, idea of this video that I'm making at the moment, you know, assumptions. I'd be making an assumption if I were to say, if I were to criticise someone for not trying hard at school. I have a problem with that because I don't, I wouldn't know why they're not trying hard at school. There, there must be an explanation for that. I think it's damaging to disapprove of that. But equally, um, I do think that people should try hard at school because we're really lucky in this country to have access to education and have ac access to um, a system where we can learn and so sometimes it bothers me that people don't try as hard as they could but equally I'm not disapproving because I don't know what their circumstances are. You never get bored. I sometimes get, I don't really get bored actually. You're really quiet and introverted and you never initiate a conversation with a stranger. See I'm introverted but equally I love those spontaneous conversations with strangers sometimes so, so for example I like to compliment people randomly if I can, I think it's a really nice thing to do and also it can spark up conversation which is nice. On a quiet tube I'll usually be the one chatting with someone because um, I actually really enjoy, I really enjoy talking with people. You hate your sister, this is an awful assumption, no of course I don't, I actually get on really well with my sister, we're really different but we get on really well. You've never got drunk, no, I've never got drunk. It was easy for you to go vegan, it was actually because I didn't, in, I didn't like eating dairy anyway and I was already vegetarian. The only thing that was hard to give up was cheese and now I don't even eat vegan cheese substitutes so um, it's actually been quite easy to cut it out. You don't like fantasy books, I don't. Other than Harry Potter, I really don't like fantasy. You never had a grumpy teenage phase? No, but I had quite a bad temper when I was younger so when I was like 9, 10 maybe that was when I went through my teenage years. I think I, think I just did it really early but I never did it properly, I suppose. You read more than 100 books every year. I aim to read more than 100 books every year, but I don't always. Last year, I read 97. You're not as organized as in your videos. I don't know. Um, I suppose in some aspects of my life, I'm not that organized. When I was in year seven, I wasn't terribly organized. You never get into fights with your parents. I wouldn't say I fight with my parents, no. Uh, when I was younger, I would, so like nine, 10, I would have arguments. You've always been interested in studying such reading since the beginning. No. I actually used to hate revising. I saw it as an opportunity to not have to do work when I was in year five. So the issue was that when I was in primary school, school just seemed so 
I don't, I don't want this to sound bad. I know that this is going to sound bad. I'm not, I don't mean this in like a braggy way or to make myself sound intelligent, but when I was in primary school, it really frustrated me. School was really frustrating for me. Like, I really enjoyed lessons. I enjoyed my teachers, but the content was sometimes quite frustrating because it felt like we weren't moving that quickly. It felt like the stuff we were covering wasn't really really interesting and I kind of wanted to go further. My best friend and I were really into academics and we really loved learning so we'd often you know sit there and read Shakespeare, we wrote poetry, we're the only people at Sudoku club, we just we were really really nerdy and we really loved learning but equally for both of us we had a bit of a mixed relationship with school because it seemed to be going at a very slow pace and so I didn't hugely love studying when I was in primary school just because it wasn't challenging enough. I didn't enjoy doing homework for example because it just didn't seem challenging. It didn't it didn't feel like it was actually stretching my brain. It just it was just something I had to do as opposed to something which was interesting for me. Unless it was a creative writing story or something I loved writing. Reading completely different. I have loved reading since since literally since I could read. I've always been reading. My mum says that so I was a really energetic child and she really thinks that I channeled that energy into um, books because as soon as I could read I just spent so much time reading. You don't have many breakdowns. Um, I do have breakdowns like any student I do. You hate junk food. I don't enjoy eating junk food. It just doesn't make me feel fantastic. You don't like watching small YouTubers and you don't give them a chance because of their following. Okay this is sad because actually I make a huge effort to do this. On my channel I've got um, a feature channels where I put my favourite small study tube channels because the thing I love about study tube is that it's a community and I think it's important for everyone to interact so to talk with smaller creators and so I do make an effort to do that obviously I can't talk with every single person in the study gram and study tube community because there are so many people but I make an effort to. You enjoy non-fiction more than fiction? No I enjoy fiction more. You struggled in the first year at uni more than you let on? Uh, yeah that's true. Um, I should have been more honest and more open about it. I think I was I was open sometimes, but um, when you're going through something, it can actually be quite hard to share everything. It's not always the best thing for your mental health to share everything. Okay, change of outfit. Um, it's the same day, but I just went out for lunch with Felicity and Verity. You were pressured to do well by your parents. Um, no, actually, funnily enough, um, people do actually have this assumption quite a lot about me, and I've, I've heard this one quite a lot in the comments. So um, my parents actually never really pushed me to do well academically. Um, they always wanted me to obviously do my best. I was never pushed to do my homework, my parents never, you know, sat down with me to do homework. It was always up to us and my sister and I would, it was our responsibility to do our work. Yeah, just never pushy. I was always told, the thing that was always emphasised to me was, you know, you don't have to work this hard, we still love you no matter what. You are incredibly privileged. Yes, I am. 100%. I grew up in a really supportive household with really loving parents, lovely friends, really incredibly supportive school environment. Yeah, I would say that I am extremely privileged. I recognise that through and through that my privilege has helped me to be the person that I am and achieve the things I have achieved and I'm the first person to admit that. I always say, you know, I feel like I am the luckiest person in the world because of the people that I have around me, I can't think of any better people I'd like to have around me, I can't think of a better place to live, of a better place to have gone to school. So I'm very grateful for my privilege. I've become so conscious of it and I feel really bad for it because I know that people don't have the opportunities that I've been given in life and I know people don't have the start in life that I have had and I'm so, so aware of that and I feel terrible for it. You prioritise studying over anything else. No, that's not true. I would say I prioritise family, but I would say that there was a time in my life where I did prioritise studying over anything else. You changed courses because you actually failed your previous one. This isn't true. The fact that I didn't fail it is what makes it harder for people to understand, I think. You don't want to carry on with YouTube for the rest of your life. Um, no, I don't intend on doing YouTube for ever. I really enjoy doing it though, so I can't think of when I would give it up because I just love making videos. The bullying you went through as a child was really bad, but you came out the other side strong. And I like to think this, I really like to think that the bullying that I experienced really shaped me for the better, and that it made me into a person that I am more proud to be today. I know my bullying was, wasn't as bad as that which other people have. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, my bullying was the worst that anyone's ever experienced. That's so not true. That is the last question I'm going to answer. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week. Remember that we can be kind.